Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from my uh, creative world where I build tons of stuff and we're going out back here to where uh, there's a bunch of stuff and we're going to be looking at something that a lot of people have requested and that is an automatic mushroom farm. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys about an automatic mushroom farm, this is a long game type build. This thing doesn't, there's no way really to produce mushrooms uber fast. They take like half an hour or 40 minutes to even grow one. Um, that said, this thing, I made it last night and I've been building tutorials in here all day and we're looking at 14 and 15. So this is expandable. You can make this, you can make this the whole entire map. You can make it whatever you want. Um, but mushrooms are long game. going to tell you right now, if you sit here just waiting for one to grow, it's not going to happen. I don't think I've personally actually seen one actually grow, uh, but it does produce. So over time, because it's automatic, you're going to have all the mushrooms you need, I guess, for uh, fermented spider eye or the little things. Um, and again, you can expand this as long as you want. And there you go. See, it's going, but no mushrooms were there. Again, Again, it takes a long time. Uh, it is a pretty easy build and fully expandable. So let's just start this process here. I'm just going to build one back here. So dig yourself a 6x2 down. And then we're going to make a hopper timer. Pretty easy stuff. Just uh, crouch place, put it into there. Break this one. Crouch place, put it into there get up here again you've probably seen a dozen of these in my videos so we're just gonna get this process going hopper timer okay then we're going to put block 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 redstone dust redstone dust then sticky piston right there right there and we have one block of redstone and there's your hopper timer guys I'm not going to uh, you know what I'm gonna fill it up right now so basically what you're gonna want from this guy right here is uh, you're gonna want to put a full hopper worth of anything so I'm just gonna use cobble let's uh, put it here 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 so go in your hopper timer and put in five stacks of cobble that's gonna have that bad boy going good. So once it's going like that, we got our hopper timer. Then what we wanna do is just go ahead and throw a torch on there. That's gonna be our new kind of home base. I'm just gonna use cobble for this build, uh, simplify the purpose. So once you do that, guys, what you're gonna to wanna to do is put this right there. So now look, that's your new power source right there. That's gonna go off. Uh, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a little like C shape. So that's pretty good, easy peasy. Um, I'm gonna go right ahead and make this a little bit longer right from the start just to uh, show you how you expand it. So ultimately this C shape is gonna be your key to success. I usually make a double one at the first and then uh, to expand it, I'll throw a repeater on that one. So let's grab ourselves some redstone. Uh, what else do we need? Mycelium redstone. Mycelium is gonna be a key element to this. Um, it's not that hard. Find a mushroom island and uh, go nuts. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, you still don't need that many. If you don't want to use mycelium, you're going to have to use uh, regular stuff. But if you do that, you're going to have to cover this whole unit. Mushrooms need a light level of 12 or uh, lower to spawn. So I would just recommend using it. You're going to go grab a stack of mycelium. It'll take you five minutes at the nearest mushroom island and uh, you'll be ready to go. So let's grab some sticky pistons. Need some sticky pistons, glass, mycelium. Let's grab some mushrooms here since we're in the process. And let's grab some gla grass blocks so I can cover this up. Be careful when you cover it up. Uh, you can't cover certain areas. If you were to cover this piston here, it would stop it from working. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw. I'm going to go ahead and throw a glass block in there just to, just to do that. And then what you could do is actually go ahead and cover it up. But we're not going to do that just yet. Um, let's go ahead and throw glass blocks in front of each one of these. Each one of these pillars. And again, expandable from here and beyond. I'll show you after I do these two right here. Um, and then what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and throw mycelium right there. You're going to want your mycelium right there, right there, 
right there. Again, this one I'm not going to do. We'll, we'll save this for after. I'll show you how to expand it at the end uh, instead of confusing everybody. So now that the mycelium is there, you're going to want mycelium under these ones here. So let's fill this in so we stop getting confused. Put the mycelium right here, right here. And then what you want is to put it under here, actually. Put that there. Nope, we're going to put that back. We just did it backwards here. Let's just go ahead and throw our sticky pistons on. That will set us straight. Sticky piston, wrong way, stupid glitch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. So the mycelium is unnecessary under here. You just go ahead and throw a regular block. So what you're going to want is for your mycelium to be right here. Right there. Right here. Right here. Right here. There you go. You see the T-shape that we've made right there? Leaving one mycelium under each of these and then out like this. Pretty easy, guys. Mycelium right there. T-shape. Now you're cooking with gas. So we can fill these in right here. Again, the hopper timer is pretty much the most difficult part of it. And as it's going right now, these should pop out every about four minutes as it stands. So let's just go ahead and throw a mushroom in each of these. You know, that's what you want to do to facilitate the mushroom growing. Do a little mix and match. And then throw some glass on the tips of these again. Ultimately, your mushrooms are going to be growing right here. And then everything's going to get knocked off. And throw this here. And there you go. Once we throw some glass on there, perfect. So every four minutes, these are going to pop out. Very easy. Ready to go with that. So I'm going to show you how to extend it now. Grab some cobblestone. And some repeaters. So... Basically, you're going to want to make this pretty large. It's up to you. Again, depends on your needs. I would use probably something around there, maybe twice the size of that max. Um, and then you can just literally extend this into uh, as many U's as you want. So what I would do is between each U, once you get past a bit, I just throw a repeater, um, depending on how many you're doing. But again, I'm not going to fully extend this, but that's literally how you're going to extend this whole thing is this easy. And then just repeat the process that way. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bigger for you guys. Let's go over here. Okay, so. Uh, throw some glass right here. You want to make it so that mushrooms can't really spawn there. However, if this is using mycelium, mushrooms can't spawn there because there's too much light in the first place. So let's go grab mycelium, mycelium, mycelium. Pretty straightforward. And once we did that, let's go ahead and uh, glass block, glass block. Again, just follow the pattern. It's pretty straightforward. And then what you're going to want to do under here. And again, this is probably something you've seen huge ones on YouTube uh, where they make huge squares, basically, that all just have water running underneath them. Um, that is one way to do it as well. So let's just throw a mushroom in here, a mushroom in here. We're just going to put red ones here. Why not? Because I'm feeling like a hero sandwich. And then let's throw a glass block on top of this, glass block on top of this. And again, this is your growing point right here. And now it looks good to me. So what I do for this is I'm just going to add a water source. It's the easiest way. Depending on how many you have is going to be whether you want to do this this way or a different way. And then what we're going to do is grab a timer, a hopper. That's the other one going off over there. Maybe we got a mushroom. I don't know. Like I said, don't sit there and watch it, guys. You're gonna be you're gonna be disappointed. Uh, it takes forever. Um, I'm imagining you'd probably have to make a super huge, massive one if you really wanted it to go far. 
let's see how far it goes. However far the water goes is fine. See right there is good. I'm just going to take two hoppers. And there you go. For decoration, I'll just do a half slab, put some item frames on there. Put that there. There. Grab some item frames. Everybody knows. And do this. Grab these right here. And there you go. Don't need none of this if you're not going that far. In essence, you don't need any of this right here. But these always help it grow. And there you go. That's an automatic mushroom farm, guys. As you can see, pretty straightforward. Uh, everything works perfect. We got everything going down there proper. I just use this as my little porthole to make sure. See, hopper timer is still going. It takes four minutes for this thing to go. Um, let's just grab some glass. And there you go, guys. This is fully expandable, tileable, whatever you need. Um, at the end of the day, you can make it, say, double this length and then make the water source go in the other way. It goes, but like I said, it's going to take forever. I made this one last night, and we got about 30 mushrooms total, uh, not even 29. But that's the way to do it, guys. Make it huge. Make it big. Do whatever you need to do. But there you go, guys. Fully automatic mushroom farm. A lot of people have asked for it. And uh, that's the one that we got. This one here was, was a failed attempt. Um, don't even bother. This one is a horrible mushroom farm. Look how many mushrooms you get. Zero. So on that note, uh, you live and you learn. But this one here, guys, it works awesome. And uh, there you go. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel if you're not already uh, for hundreds of videos, tutorials, let's plays, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. Bye. Uh -huh.